In this video, we're walking through the pathophysiology of pernicious anemia so that you can understand it easier and pass your nursing school exams. Let's dive in. Now, pernicious anemia is one of those trickier disorders to understand in nursing school because there's a lot that goes into it. So we'll break it down super simple so that you can really see what's happening here. Pernicious anemia happens when the body doesn't absorb enough vitamin B12 because there's not enough intrinsic factor for the body to absorb it. So these are two key things that you need to know for pernicious anemia, vitamin B12 and intrinsic factors. So what are they? Vitamin B12 is usually found in many different foods that we consume and it is then absorbed into the body using intrinsic factor, which is produced by the parietal cells in the stomach. Once B12 is absorbed, it plays an important role in producing healthy red blood cells, but it can't be absorbed without intrinsic factor. That's the key. When intrinsic factor is low, B12 will also be low because it's not being absorbed. So you know me and you know I love to put pathophysiology into simple steps for you to follow. This is exactly how we teach inside the Nursing SOS membership community as well because it is a much better way, a much clearer and faster way to learn it. So if you want me to walk you through everything that you need to know to pass nursing school with hundreds of step-by-step -step nursing lectures and tons of study guides and cheat sheets, don't miss out on joining the community. I'll put the link down below in the description for you to check out all of the details. You are absolutely going to love it. So let's walk through the path of physiology of pernicious anemia step-by-step. -step. Step one of pernicious anemia is that the parietal cells in the stomach aren't able to produce intrinsic factor. There is an autoimmune response where the body either attacks the parietal cells before they can produce the intrinsic factor or they attack the intrinsic factor itself. And without enough intrinsic factor, the body can't absorb vitamin B12, which is step number two. Vitamin B12 is required to make red blood cells and without B12, the body cannot make enough healthy red blood cells to support the needs and the function of the body, which is now step number three. The bone marrow isn't able to produce enough red blood cells or enough healthy red blood cells to keep up with the demands of the body. The red blood cells that are made without enough B12, they're large and oval shaped, they're fewer in number, and they sometimes die sooner than healthy ones. This leaves less healthy red blood cells to circulate oxygen to the body, which is now step number four. Pernicious anemia can be caused by an autoimmune response, which destroys the ability to absorb B12. It could be caused from chronic gastritis, a gas gastrectomy, which is surgery in which part of the stomach is removed, or due to a lack of vitamin B12 intake, such as in a strict vegan or a vegetarian diet. Now, if you're confused about how to learn pathophysiology in nursing school and you want to learn it faster, check out this video here where I give you my top tips for studying patho easier in nursing school. And if you're a Nursing SOS member, be sure to download the med surge study guides that we have for you inside the community. And if you love this video, write love in the comments below and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. I'll see you over there in that next video.